we're looking at my latest Hot Wheels collection coming up after this. This is a great year for Hot Wheels. You know what I think it is, what has attracted me to it, is that there's this tropical 80s, 90s thing happening over at Mattel with a lot of their different toys. And I just noticed a lot of Hot Wheels this year that I really had to get. It's hard to start off. I'm gonna open these for sure. I think I'm gonna open many of them. My Matchbox is a whole other story. I'm collecting all of the Matchbox from this year. I love the packaging. It's so retro. They've gone back in time with the packaging and it looks amazing. I love the colors. I can't decide to open, not to open. Maybe there's an acetone trick. Maybe I should test that on these Hot Wheels cars. I usually cut off the bubble like I do with action figures just around and keep the plastic on. And that's also an option because I really do want to save the artwork but I, I guess the answer is to open everything. This Glow series was what took me by storm and maybe got me so crazy into collecting Matchbox. There's also a lot of movies and TVs um, themed cars that are great but they're glow in the dark, they're translucent and they're just the coolest cars. Now the last one for me to get is this duck. And the funny thing about this duck is I'm kind of disappointed to have this duck to go with this really cool glow-in-the-dark translucent metallic shiny series. I don't know, it just it doesn't seem to fit. The thing is, I have all of the ducks so far. So it does complete this duck collection and it does complete the glows the glow series. So I, I guess I can't complain at all. Something that I am missing today is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So this is the special St. Patrick's Day card and they have these holiday what do they call them? holiday racers and I have been collecting these as well and opening them the Valentine's Day when I just found too late after Valentine's Day and once that I've opened I've opened the New Year's one and what is that? I don't know the Christmas one so I have them all except for the first one was the Halloween one and I never did find that I guess it was at the beginning of the year and unfortunately, I don't have the Halloween one. What else do I have here that I found? So most of these are 2021, but some of them are spilt through. So I have these Mattel 75th anniversary ones. Oh, I guess they all are. And this one came in white, which I opened. Is that here? That should be here. Oh yeah, that is here. White and red. And then these two future cars are awesome and they're really cool to get in both shades as well. So on here, I put this on Instagram a long time ago when I found it. It's got all of the different properties on it. You can see Barbies there, Masters of the Universe is on it, Uno, all of the great Mattel properties of all time. And here's another newer latest one. And I think this is, well, I know this is, like a mega blocks. This so this one I definitely have to open. I'm gonna open up the St. Patrick's and Valentine's Day one in this video, I guess, at the end. Because when am I gonna open them and it is a special day? This donut one, I didn't buy the first donut one. I think I was probably telling myself it was silly and I shouldn't get it. But I just found this second donut one, even though there's a third donut one. And I guess it's in here. The colors are part of that crazy 80s thing. And here's an example of how that crazy 80s thing is going on in this car which is, what are they calling this? Um, you can join these together. So on the back of the Hot Wheels cars, if they do special things, it shows you. And I had to get three of these, and it's gonna be good to put in my slate diorama because the colors are so tropical ladies, and that's what's going on in Cave Club as well. 
is something else that I thought was great for dioramas were this collection with the shopping carts. And I looked it up and I had discovered that I have every single one. This is the latest one. There's crash test dummy one, but all of those little figures can come off and they're going to look great uh, in a display in diorama just like toys for toys and you can put them in different positions and they can hang on different things and also there's this series which i discovered that i had to go and find this i had seen this hanging around a walmart in a bin and it's been there and i put off getting it and then one day i looked up these cars and i realized that i had two of the three that exist so red yellow and blue the three primary colors perfect for diorama they also are great for the little figures riding on them i believe you can also stick uh, lego lego minifigures or mega blocks construction figures in this one i'm not so sure about this one but you do use the figures with these three primary colors just a look great as in a diorama scene so cute this one i picked up the other day and it's an old one and i don't collect all of the art cars I try to be good and not collect everything. Unlike with Mashbox, I'm collecting them all because they're a little more utilitarian. These ones at least are fun with the Matchbox. So, wow. Here's a special space car. I don't know, that was just the one special one-off that they put into the case. And it's just a really cool car. There's a new space series. I wonder if I have that one in here. Here's just a racing car. Every once in a while, I'll just buy some random race car. I do have a whole box of race cars, but I think this box is my favorite ones. Here's some carded Mattel 75th anniversary ones. I love that, just because all of my favorite toy properties are on it. And here is the Dinosaur series. So I believe there's a recolor of this one that's coming out in this one I put up because I didn't really like this Jurassic Park van. I just didn't like the shape of it or anything. The other ones are in dinosaur shapes, so they're really cool. And there's one, and it's a treasure hunt, which means it's one that's hard and rare to find, I believe. I haven't really figured out the whole treasure hunt thing. I hope that I will be able to get it because it, you know, I just have to. Oh yeah, this is what it looks like. So this was in the monster series though. It wasn't in the dino series, but it's like this one. But I bought this one because again, it's in those tropical 80s, fun 90s colors. Here's the other donut. This is the newest donut. I do have to hunt down the third donut car though. It's pastelli. I think it has brown on the bottom. Another cool race car that I can't decide what to do with. I do really like the off-white of this one, so that's why I picked that one up. What other series? Um, oh yeah, so these X racers are another one because they're translucent. So I will be collecting all of those. I think I have these up to date. I know this one is coming in a different color. That's what they do. So then there'll be more than five because then you get some that are in different colors. But the translucent plastic fun is a lot of fun. So that's, that's what's going on here. And here is another of my favorite things and this set is coming along real good i am just missing the pictionary one so it's mattel games and they've got the magic eight ball and on the bat bottom of the magic eight ball are different magic eight ball phrases and that's really cool and i don't know how many different varieties there are but i have three of them and i found a lot of versions of three of them. This is the track that I bought that I never reviewed. The car is still in there. I have put it, it's on my floor, and I do play with it every once in a while, but my intention is to review it, and it is a lot of fun. So then we've got Zombats and the Rock'em Sock'em game. 
and this also is being recolored in blue, so you can have one of the yeah, you can get each of them, and then there, I don't even know what um, this Guster one is, but this is a coveted one, and everybody wants to get the Bel Air, because they love it, but this slime game is really cool, and it looks so good in that car. Like I said, I still need to get Pictionary, and I'm good. Oh, and here is a recolor of DOS and UNO. So it's really funny that they did it that way. See, this is an example of it being a recolor, but it's the same number. But this is extra special because it even has a deco on it that gives it a different name. And I've probably played Uno before, but I've certainly not played DOS or whatever they call it. I have it in the international cards too. Okay, here are some more just weird special ones so every time there's a translucent car i get excited and ones that have movable parts or removable pieces so you can take the red hood off of that one so that's cool and then this one is really translucent and metallic and shiny and this one transforms so that thing moves on it uh, I just think that one's really cool too, and of course it has a translucent window on it, that's awesome. And then, oh yeah, and there's a Space Series. So this is the first Space Series that came out, this is late in the year for them to start, but I will definitely be collecting all of these Space ones, hopefully. Sometimes you just can't find stuff. And then I have three older ones, I believe. And these are in those crazy, I guess I really do like when they have the yellow in it, and then yellow and translucent, and you gotta admit these are all super 80s fun ones, so they're all not necessarily new or old. And then art cars, I believe these ones are from last year, but there's just different themes. There's another example of recoloring the car for the same series. So I told myself not to get all of the art cars, but I have been getting the ones that I really want. Uh, Picasso is one of my favorite artists, so of course I get that one. And then this one is super 80s, 90s, so I had to get that one. I have doubles of that one, I had to open that one. And then two colors of this one. This second one is in these crazy 80s fluorescent colors and there's skulls on it and of course black and white I also love. So that's a great one. And then this is a standout. I hope I can find more hearses, especially in Matchbox. I know that Matchbox did put out some hearses and I want some. So here is the new art card. This is one of the newest ones and this is the one that I found in the store yesterday to go with it and I just thought that these would look so good together and I am right they do they're both the art cars this one's from probably last year and this is the new one so I'm happy to get all of those and then I think we're getting into normal territory so these ones remind me of my matchbox collection so when I see a regular car that's um, mostly I'm into vintage and trucks so I like something that's 80s or later and uh, a Jeep. A Jeep is what I would drive if I had one. So then I got more Jeeps and trucks and that's a really cool van. It bothers me when they're not on the same scale besides that. And then I got some cool black cars. You can see there's some retro-y. I guess one is a 96. Two of them are 96s. But, I mean, in black, they're classic greats. And then, what else do I got here? Oh, I got a Porsche because I was getting all of the Porsches. And I had a red and a white and a black, and they all came out at the same time. And then another awesome Jeep in red. And then all of these red cars. So I don't even think about it when I'm buying these, but it turns out that they all end up looking the same. I guess I do have a T2 
taste of what I like. And a lot of the times I do buy the same ones, but recently I have been taking pictures. I've started with Matchbox and putting them on Instagram so I can refer back to the ones that I have and so I don't make that mistake. And I probably am going to open up all of this stuff and I'm also going to make sure that I only buy the ones that I really, really love, except with Matchbox, there are a hundred this year and I'm going to get them all and a hundred cars at 87 cents the price in Canada has gone down to 87 cents but they put up the price of Hot Wheels so I don't know what they're trying to do there I guess they're trying to push the matchbox I, I am a matchbox collector first though and I also have a matchbox garage I hope you'll like comment share and subscribe I'm gonna open up these ones at the end so stay tuned for that and if you have that Halloween car let me know. Send that to me, please. Because I don't think you can get it anymore. See you next time. So, I should have tried the acetone on the back of the card. I've seen somebody just paint it with the paintbrush and they lift it out and they reseal it. I wouldn't reseal it because I just want to have the cards, like collectible cards. But this is how I open up all of my action figures. And I've not seen anyone do this on all of the Hot Wheel videos. They just bust open for some reason. I'll clean that up later. I don't really like this car. It's a bit 70s, but considering I am collecting all of these different holiday cars, I thought I would get it. That chrome is nice. The wheels seem like they go out a little bit, and it's more of a narrower. It's kind of like a dune buggy beetle and then this hot tub car I don't know what I think about that or it looks like it has moving parts but I guess it doesn't I don't know how to figure out what's a treasure hunt I think that there is a little logo that it goes on cars that are treasure hunts and I think also it says on the back of the card here underneath the card if there's a treasure hunt and there's super treasure hunts. I guess that's just translucent to make it look like water. For some reason I thought that that lifted up or something. This is a pretty cool little car and it's gold on the bottom. Yeah, those are great. So let's show you. I hope you like Hot Wheels because I will be opening up a lot of them. I'm pretty sure that these are all from the same, so I'm just missing the Halloween one. This one came in a different color, but I don't think it was from the Holiday series. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I'm happy to have those. Hot Wheels.